Okay, so hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the Streamsy community call on 31st of October. And before going through the agenda, is there anything someone would like to raise or discuss? Okay, seems like not. So first point is uh, PRs and issues. So the first issue we have here is uh, about starting using the CC self heal features. Uh, I think on the last community call, there was a question from Paolo for the community user if he wants to look into it and that we have the Shubham for yeah implementing it. So should we wait for the response for another period of time or should we just assign it to Shubham? What do you think? Well, to be honest, Shubham and uh, I am helping him on this. He's already working on that. So uh, I asked the user. He didn't come back to me. I don't think that he will never back to me. Uh, so for now, I would say let's just assign to Shubham. Lugash, if you're writing something, I cannot see. Better? Well, it's kind of cut. I don't know if it's just me. Should move a little bit up. I can see it. I also can see it. Fine. So after I, what I can see is uh, after discussion on community call and because Shubham is, this is what I see. <laughs> I can see the rest. Oh, okay. Now we can see it. Yep. You need bigger screen, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and bigger memory, you know. Yeah. Okay, I can see it now. Yes. Something like this, or do you want to rephrase it to make it better? No, it's fine with me. Okay, so let's assign uh, Shubham there. Okay, thanks. So another thing is uh, PR from Marosh about uh, making the recovery tests run on the craft mode. I guess there were some discussions uh, around if it should be just for craft or making it, let's say, for both of the modes. And yeah, that's maybe a question for Marosh if yeah, I can yes, talk. information. Uh, I think there were some changes. We decided to go craft only and also uh i think there was some update on the recovery procedure related to craft so i think now in this pr i need to do some adjustment like one change and it will work so i will take a look on that so but i was waiting for the release of the streamsy but now i i can do it very easily okay thanks no worries. And the final PR, yeah, it's from Feder about fixing build process, spelling on source archives. I guess it's something about documentation or something. Uh... Uh, I'm proposing a fix, actually. Uh, I found this while testing the release candidate, the release candidate. Uh, basically, we provide source code as a package, zip or targz. And if you download it and try to build it, uh, uh, it doesn't work because uh, there is docu document check, something script that uh, expects uh, a Git repository. Yeah. 
So this the fix is very simple. Uh, just uh, let's keep that. I'll comment. fix something that was never expected to work. But that's not documented anywhere. Uh, so uh, usually every many projects, most of the projects. Uh, uh, distribute the sources and then you're able to download and compile following the dev guide or something in the project uh, and you cannot do that right now in right Spanish. it's not documented anywhere many some most maybe not so many maybe not so most like it's not fixed because it's not broken because it's not ex exp expected to work yeah, the only thing is that we should uh, maybe document that it's... Um, so I have never downloaded the source and build from there. I usually, of course, clone the repo if I want to build something and not use the sort of zip file. Um, but if uh, it was not meant to, to be used this way, we should at least document it. But what if you want to test a release candidate? So, right? Paolo, yeah. should we document that Kafka doesn't work from floppy disks? Because I'm quite sure it would not work, but it's not documented anywhere, right? So you can't really document things which are not supposed to work because nobody ever expected to work, nobody ever wanted that to work, and so on. So what's your expectation around the sources to zip? So why we are distributing the sources to zip? If, uh... We are not distributing it. That's automatically attached when you do the release by GitHub. We don't attach any source zips anywhere. Yeah, I mean, but they, they, they are there, right? Uh, for people to download and use it. And you can also download it from GitHub. If you go to the main project, uh, you can, of course, clone it, but also you can download as a zip file, which doesn't include uh, Git uh, stuff. Uh, yeah. Okay, so two things that here we have two options. One is to be honest to document that the source, uh, the, the, the project is not meant to be built by using the sources, or on the other side, fixing it. What I'm not sure is uh, if the fix is the right fix. So if uh, you should skip that just because uh, you are checking that uh, it's a GitHub repo or there is a, a better fix for that. Because you are just checking that dot git is there, right? So it means that uh, if I'm going in my cloned repo and I delete my dot git folder, the build is not going to work anyway. No, 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 it will work with the patch. You just oh, don't. Yeah, sorry. Don't... No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was saying if there is a different way. Yes, you're right. Yeah, you just don't. You just keep this uh, this check uh, documentation check, uh, which is which is triggered by the make all, uh, which is documented in the dev guide. This is the only place where we are assuming uh, that this yes. is people. Yes. So in general, I don't think that this uh, fix hurts. So I mean. It helps for the source zip files. If uh, it doesn't broken broke anything else, I don't think that it's that bad. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this is a, at least for me. This is a, uh, when I need to when I want to uh, test a release candidate, StreamZ or Kafka, for example. Uh, the release manager provides source zip. .gz, gz and then I download it, I build, and maybe run some tests from there. Uh, the alternative would be to clone it, then switch to the tag, to the release tag, and do the same thing, uh, which is, but I think it's easier to, to get the uh, sources from the release. So as I said, my opinion is that it, it doesn't hurt to have it there. Maybe, um adding a comment why we are checking uh, the dot .git uh, folder. I don't know what the other maintainer's opinion is. Uh, I, 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 yeah, I got the feeling that Jakub is against that, uh, but not sure about the others. I don't know, like for testing the RC 
the images are all already uploaded, right, in the QI. So I'm not sure which tests you are actually running because, uh, yeah, the integration tests and unit tests are executed on the tech, I guess. So, yeah, the system tests can be or are executed for the RC images. So, but I can build my own images while testing, right? From the sources and then do, do the tests, whatever tests I want to do. And what is, sorry, what is the benefit when you have the images already built? Yeah, why you should test the release uh, by building your own? You should test the release, the images, not building your own images. Why, why not? Well, you are not testing the RC, which is yeah, provided by it. StreamZ, yeah. and you are testing something customized by you, right? No, it's not customized, it's the same sources. Yeah, but it's different binaries anyway. Yeah, you can you can do the same thing when you will check out the tech and just build a project and build the images, right? Hey. Uh, I can also run all the tests if I want, integration tests on my machine to see if there is anything that comes out. Yeah, running yeah. integration and unit tests, yeah, makes sense. But rebuilding for having uh, the images, uh, yeah, yeah that, that's a bad product of building the project. You run make all and you produce images. I don't know, like for testing the RC, we are not really, or at least I'm not building anything. I'm just using what's already built by our automation in Streamzy. And yeah, the unit tests and the integration tests are already run on the tech as well. So yeah, I guess it doesn't hurt, but it doesn't make much sense to build from there. From my opinion, I don't know what other things. Well, uh, so as I said, uh, I don't see much value to rebuild images and testing them because you should test the ones that we released or maybe running integration tests or unit tests. But that's already run on the build of the tech, right? So it's kind of redundancy or something. Yeah, I mean, one of the local test. I mean, one could use the sources to build a custom image, like you said before. So there are many, there could be many use cases for wanting to build from the source package. Well, when you want to build some customized image, then you can use the RC images as a base or, or I don't have idea what could be customized there, for example, so. And also you can build the images without using the make all right, so. Okay, so to not be stuck on this, how we will proceed? Should we close it or what are other maintainers thoughts? Silence. Well, I, I could be the last one because I don't see big issues, but anyway, <clears throat> you and Jakub don't agree, so we are in a democracy. The other maintainers, uh, silent maintainers, would agree with you. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. Would renaming the PR and description and something, some comment, make more sense? I don't know. Like it's not a fix, right? It's making it possible to build from the source archives. 
Yeah, if you want to call it an improvement, I'm fine with that. Since um, Fede isn't a maintainer, I guess um, between Fede and Paolo, you just need to convince one of the other maintainers to be a solid yes rather than a on the fence. Otherwise, it can't go in anyway. So perhaps we leave it at that and then see if you can find somebody else to convince. Well, it's not, well, it could be about convincing. Anyway, as I said, uh, I don't see, so if I have to use the source code, uh, as I said, I'm not using them, or if I was a user, uh, I'm not going to use them to, to, to build the project from there uh, in order to then testing some different images, which are the same sources, but different binaries, and we have the released images in QA, in the StreamEasy official repo. Uh, I can understand that maybe you would, would like to run uh, integration test, unit test, uh, using the zip source file, and then you need it working. Uh, so that could be the reason why we should make it working. At the same time, uh, am I sure that uh, if I want to run tests, I am, I am not someone so a developer who is used to just clone the repo and running everything from the repo. Um, to be honest, I have never used sources zip here. So I don't want to convince people. For me, it's not hurting, it's something more. So it's going to work even if you are using the sources zip. Well, question is also if it breaks something else or if it will hide some kind of issue in the future. I don't know. Like for me, for testing the RC, it's easier to just fetch the tags, uh, then go to the branch or release branch or the tag, build the project, run the tests or run the system test with the already built images and that's mainly mine, uh, RC testing. Yeah, because we are assuming you are cloning the repo. Here we are talking about people who don't clone the repo and just download the zip with sources. Yeah, the question is also how many people actually using the sources. I don't know. Yeah, uh, that, that's something that we don't know. We know that Fede. Right now, we know that Fede. Yeah, that is one. So I don't know, I don't want to be stuck on this <laughs> longer. So at least from me and Jakub, I guess it's minus one. And yeah, I don't know if we want to give other maintainers some time to look at it and maybe close it or whatever. So we will give other maintainers some time to have a look at it and maybe provide some feedback. Okay. Okay, so something else to this, or we can move to proposals. Okay. Uh, so for the proposals, the first one uh, is about the monitoring of custom resources uh, via the cube state metrics. And uh, the user already provided to good proposals, so other maintainers which uh, didn't have time to look at it, please do it once, once you have time. And the uh, second one is from uh, Marosh about open feature integration. 
and uh, I guess there were some comments from Paolo about the complexity uh, of adding the open feature and and such. So I was curious how we should proceed with this. Yeah, I guess that we had some discussion offline. To be honest, uh, I don't see the value. Um, I don't see the big value coming from the effort to do that. Uh, I, I guess that, yeah, we had the discussion with Maros Jakub uh, offline on this. So at least, yeah, I'm not for moving forward. But yeah, I don't know the others. Uh, well, I think uh, as we have the discussion offline, that just somehow proved that uh, that open future is actually okay. But in this case, it doesn't give us much like advantages, and it just uh, gives us a lot of maintenance, etc. So, yeah, yeah, I think the timing is bad because if we had, I think, K raft. Uh, and Kafka free free zero, for instance, that it would be make sense because uh, some customers could eventually move between the Kafka clusters, or I don't know, maybe set up uh, in one namespace uh, craft based and in the second namespace uh, Zookeeper based cluster. But I think that this one will not will be gone soon. And with Kafka 4.0, it will be only k wrapped. And I think currently we have only one future gate. So, yeah, I think it doesn't uh, provide us much value comparing to the maintenance, which we'll have, and documentation, etc. And testing. Yeah, and testing. Maybe in the future, we will have better reasons why to do that, but yeah, we can close it, I think. So something like this. Yep. Okay. Thanks anyway, Harash, for the proposal. And yeah, let's see if we will get back to it in the future. So uh, that's all from the proposals. Uh, is there any other proposals someone would like to yeah, discuss or mention? Seems like not. So let's move to the issue triage. And uh, the first issue here is uh, yeah, two years back where the uh, community user mentioned that uh, he cannot specify a customized uh, config map or he thought that uh, it can be passed to the the name of the config map can be passed into the log config map but yeah standa uh, two years back provided some workaround and Jakub mentioned that he can customize uh, the config map in the templates and use it from there so yeah, I guess we will see, uh, we will let the user to maybe uh, respond if it's valuable for him or not now. And yeah, let's see if he's still somehow interested in the, in the issue or, or fixing it. So yeah, it would 
you like to discuss it somehow or just we will leave it for the next community call to see if the user will respond. To be honest, they are two years ago, no engagement from the user, even if after yeah, uh, Stanislav comment. To be honest, I will just close this one and say to the user, if you need something more, just reopen it, even because there is a way, as Jakob said. I will not just leave this issue open for, I don't know, one more two weeks, which I'm pretty sure nothing is going to happen. Yeah, I agree with Paul to closing that. So oh, something like this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I should maybe uh, should it be as not planned or just completed. It's fine. Oh, well, it should be not planned, but can you change it now? I think I need to reopen it and close it again. Oh, yes. don't, don't bother. To... <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, so the next one is about rolling update on cruise control when the secret key ref is changed. And uh, there was some investigation from Kyle and he opened the uh, PR uh, to fix this issue. So I guess that we can just uh, remove the needs triage and wait for Kyle to fix it, right? Yep. Okay. So the next one is about supporting host part as a volume for Kafka Connect after uh, the additional volume feature or the implementation user is, uh, wants to add the host path. And yeah, it was triage two weeks back uh, where we were waiting for some kind of a better use case and uh, yeah, answer from the user if the suggestions from Jakob works. So, should we just close it because the inactivity or should we wait for a longer time? If it was me, I will just close it. There is a workaround commented three weeks ago. The user didn't come back. Always mentioning that if, uh, yeah, at some point, if he comes back, he can just reopen it.
So like this. Yep. Okay. Yeah, another two issues are from Marosh. Uh, first one is about flakiness of the Kafka node process T test. So I guess we can just remove the needs triage tag and say that it makes sense to fix it. Maros, are you volunteering to fix it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's I wrote it. <laughs> Thanks, Maros. Okay, the next one from Marosh is about uh, optimizing the execution time in Azure pipelines. Uh, yeah, I already had a discussion with Marosh about it. And uh, he promised me that he will have a look on the execution time and if there is a possibility to move the test cases from one pipeline to another. So does it still apply, Marosh? Okay. Oh. That's a good community goal for Maro. She's getting a lot of work to do. <laughs> Thank you, Maro. Okay, moving out from the system test issues. Uh, this one is about Kafka export report restarting frequently. Uh, yeah, Jakub already left a comment that it's not related to us, but more or less uh, yeah, related to Kafka export itself. So yeah, I had a look on the Kafka export uh, repository, but there is no new issue from the user. But I think that we can just close this, right? Yeah, it's even possible that uh, the user realized that the issue was on uh, his Kafka cluster. It would be great having people coming back to us when these things happen, but... It is what it is. Okay, so like this. Yeah, <clears throat> yep. Remove the needs trash. Okay, there's another one from Jakub about uh, using the Kafka Connect help check, uh, which is added in Kafka 3.9.0. And it seems that Feda already volunteered to have a look at it. Once yeah, it's... we already have a volunteer. Otherwise, we have a Marosh. Yeah. <laughs> Don't overwhelm me. So this needs a proposal, right? Just just to confirm. Yes, yes. Okay. There's already a tag for that. So yeah. Okay. 
So like this? Or should I write Maroj there? Okay. Okay, so maybe you can assign to Fede. Good point. Yeah, thank you. Okay, another one is about uh, adding support for the Streams and Metrics Reporter, which had the first release uh, with the Streams and Cluster Operator. And yeah, I think that this makes sense, but maybe it requires a proposal to yeah, specify everything needed. There is already a proposal about this, and I'm working with Owen on the implementation. Okay. I will not write any volunteers. I guess you will pick it with Owen or something, right? Seems like it. Okay, and the last one is about documentation where a community user found out that uh, with the higher zoom, it's kind of less readable or our documentation is less readable. And yeah, Jakub already suggested that he can download or check the uh, standalone documentation and it seems that the yeah, user likes it so I guess we can just close it. No, I don't think we should close it. We should keep it and fix it. Unfortunately, I don't have the skills to fix it, but should at least keep track of it and maybe mark it as a help wanted if we can't fix it ourselves. So like this. No one is against it, so let's keep it. And let me add the what wanted. Okay, and it seems that that's everything from the issue triage. Is there anything else someone would like to raise? Okay, seems like not. So thanks everyone for joining and see you in two weeks. See you, thanks, bye. Thanks, bye.